reporting live from First Generation Pilots Network at Daytona Beach International Airport. We are back with part two, explaining the exterior parts and purposes of the Cessna 172 SP. Let's get started. Here we have the aircraft's ailerons. For this aircraft, this will be called differential ailerons. This will be called a differential aileron because as one aileron goes up, the other aileron will go down. Now we'll do another example and force this aileron to go down, and as you can see, the other aileron uh, went up. Now the aileron's main purpose is to provide coordination for turns through air for this aircraft. Once again, this will be called your differential aileron. Flaps. Now these will be called slotted flaps. Slotted flaps are used to provide induced drag and provide lift. Here we have the aircraft rudder. The aircraft rudder is attached just to the back of the vertical stabilizer. Now this rudder creates adverse yaw. In general, what the rudder does, it turns the nose of the aircraft either left or either right. Now this can be applied by simply pressing down on the pedals inside the cockpit of the aircraft. Here we have the aircraft's horizontal stabilizer and the aircraft's elevator. The aircraft's elevator is used to provide pitch. This pitches the aircraft's nose up and down. Here we have the aircraft's fuel sumps. Under each aircraft wing will be five fuel sumps. I'll go ahead and count them out. Here we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, the definition of a fuel sump can be defined as a low point inside the fuel tank of the aircraft. Now, it's very important to check your fuel during your pre-flight inspections due to the fact of water or dirty contaminants may get inside of the fuel tanks of the aircraft. Now I'll go ahead and do a demonstration on how to sump your fuel. What you would want to see here is clear blue one hundred clear blue, one hundred low leaded fuel. As you can see here, you can check that out. You can see here there is no water. You see no bubbles, and you also see zero dirty contaminants. Here we are. Here we are on top of the aircraft's wings, and this is your aircraft's fuel cap. For this particular aircraft, we use. 100 low leaded fuel. This is where we load fuel, of course, for this aircraft. 